guys. So today's workout, you probably went like, what the F, overhead deadlifts, how can that be? First of all, most people think a deadlift is just this hip hinge and lifting a barbell. Well, let's start with a deadlift basically means the weight is dead and you're lifting it. Okay, right now I'm deadlifting. The weight is dead, I'm lifting it up. Deadlift. Now the good thing about kettlebells is they have unilateral qualities. So you can have one up, one down. Hence, overhead deadlift. So I bet you you've never done it before. Give it a go. Bring one bell overhead, one in between your legs, in between your feet, around ankle, around your toes. Then you squat, because obviously you can't hip hinge, because you got something overhead. You need to keep your torso upright. Knees out, scapula, depression, retraction, pull them down, pull them together, push your chest out, look ahead, lock that elbow out with the tricep, push that thumb up, squat, breathe in, and up. That's one rep. That's your overhead deadlift. You do three of those. Then you keep that weight that you had overhead and you rack it. Then you do reverse lunges. Racked. Nice and slow. Or slow enough to do it with good technique. Where your knees touch gently. Okay? So yeah, we're doing four, to, uh, four time. But this is going to hurt you. You're going to hurt your knees. So you step back on the ball of your foot. Then you lower the knee all the weight on the front leg. Not on that ball of the foot. Not here. All the weight here. As you come up, same thing. Don't lean forward. Stay upright. Squeeze your glutes. Push your chest out. Press it to the ground. Four of those. Then you do your half snatch. You drop the bell, go into a hip hinge or squat style or pendulum, whatever you want. You snatch it up, you rack it. Five of those. That's one round. You put it down and you do your other side. That's two rounds. The whole workout is 100 swings. Single arm and you can switch whenever you want. But the switch doesn't count as a rep. Then you finish with 50 strict presses. A strict press, no momentum. Knees locked out, hips locked out. You don't even bend your torso or generate momentum with rotation. Everything is tight. Racking position, which is here, not here, because then you're just doing a half rep. Every time that elbow into your obliques, resting here, rack. This is where it returns. That's one rep, two reps, three reps. Switch when you want, just 50 strict presses. Now, how does it work with the weight? The weight is 40 kilos, that's RX, 40 kilos in total. You can switch it as you want. So I had 22 on the ground, 18 up. The weight that's on the ground is used for your swings, for your deadlifts, and for your strict press. The weight that's up is used for your overhead work, your rack reverse lunges, and your snatches. So make sure you get a good weight that works for you. You can even have 16, 24. You can have 12, 28. Whatever works for you. RX is 40 for males, 30 for females.
Now, if you really want to learn how to work with kettlebells properly, Caveman Training has this awesome program called From Zero to Kettlebell Maestro. It's a one-year program. It is an excellent program. It's put together by myself. Every week, it's one new exercise. It tells you everything about the exercise, and it starts from the beginning. So what I would teach a beginner that knows absolutely nothing. And every week it progresses up and up and up. So at the end of the year, you should know a lot of kettlebell exercises. You can call yourself a kettlebell maestro. Join the program, check it out on Caveman Training. From zero to kettlebell maestro, $9.99 a week. Well worth it, join us. At the end of this workout, we finished with a 100 bend over rows. Switch when you want. It was just a, as a little finisher, because you've been working your front delts, your side delts, so why not work those rear delts as well. There was no scoring, just 100 reps at your own pace. You can do them like this. You can hip hinge, lean one elbow on your knee, your shins are vertical, your glutes are squeezed, everything is tight, your chest is packed, you're rowing into your groin, back here. If you're rowing here, you're working your biceps. Looks like this. You want to come parallel with your torso to the ground, 